Hello, everybody. It's John Abella. I am out on a three-day hike. It's um, the first time that it's gotten below freezing here in 2017. So I wanted to come out and just, uh, you know, spend a couple nights out on the trail and just enjoy things. So um, got up, broke camp and um rained last night but i didn't put my coffee cup out so uh didn't get any rain water so um found a nice little spot here by the creek and i'm gonna make some coffee figured i'd shoot some video while i'm doing it so that's what this video is going to be about hope you enjoy it so i'm using my six moons designs flight 30 pack it's um you know, it's a, a, a good size for shoulder season, beginning of winter season for me. I'm not going to take everything out. Just wanted to um, pull out my cook kit. By the way, real quick, this is the Cora Xenolith sweater. And um, it is the most technologically advanced garment I've ever used. And I gotta say, I'm really, really liking it, especially for this shoulder winter season that we're just getting into. Um, check it out. Uh, it, it's not cheap by any means, but um, very, very impressed with it. Uh, I am wearing underneath it the. Uh, Northwest Alpine Tech T-shirt. And in these temps, this is pretty much all I'm wearing. Every now and then I pull out my um, uh, wind jacket. This is the new wind jacket from uh, Enlightened Equipment. Enjoying it. And then right in here I have my Mont Bell ultralight thermo wrap jacket uh, which I haven't had to put on all that much which is really nice so an option that not a lot of people think about here and sorry for the strange position uh, an option a lot of people don't think about is if they're not going to be cooking food in their cook pot but they're also big time coffee fans like I am like I'm ground and bring my own coffee at times throughout the year <clears throat> is if you're going to be bringing a pot anyway just bring your uh, your percolator this is the GSI percolator and you know it's um a pot to boil water and a coffee maker at the same time and then I'm using the uh, MSR wind burner and a little trick to uh, be able to put pots on top of your wind burner is to get the jet boil uh, pot stand and the pot stand fits perfectly on there and provides the necessary air gap um, once you got to pull these out There you go. Once you get them folded out, they will fit on there like that. And your coffee pot or your cook pot or your pan or whatever will fit perfectly on there. And then you can use a uh, MSR wind burner stove without the wind burner pot. And um, there's my MSR, uh, what is this? This is the uh, 110 gram canister. Anyway, gonna make some coffee.
show you this little spot I'm at. The trail is just off over here, going that way. Really pretty spot right here. Bit of fog up above the top of the canopies. Here's that little um, tripod I picked up. Don't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but um. It's worked out pretty good. Been happy enough with it to carry it around. It's the um, Appalachian Ultralight uh, staff that was uh, beta that they apparently decided to stop selling. Close up look at the Flight 30. Not a fan of the pockets. Most people aren't a fan of the pockets. But um, these uh, pectoral pockets here, sorry, the, the pectoral shoulder straps are by far the most comfortable shoulder straps of any backpack I've ever used. Got my pixel light in there, hand sanitizer, black rock beanie, keep my little gloves in that pocket, jacket, water filter, some other stuff in there. That side is my cook kit. Pretty little spot here. She ain't talking yet. Yeah, I'm back to this pole. I'm just really loving this thing. You know, the uh, the extra long cork handle is just really nice. Being able to, to grip it wherever you want, depending upon, you know, your, your own height and whether you're going uphill or downhill, whatever. It's, uh, it's nice. I like it. Can palm it really good. I'm a, I'm a palmer. Uh, usually try to palm my my hiking pole as much as I can, and um, while it's a little tall for that, it's still um, it's one of the best palmers I've ever encountered. <clears throat> really nice for going downhill. Mm-hmm. Grapes for snack. There's what we're looking for. My MSR cup. And I don't even want to think about how many miles I've carried this MSR cup. Cleaned it last time I was at home thinking about it. Got her all who I hear it. Oh yeah. Now she's talking. Gonna let that run another minute or two. 
Keep some good percolation, nice strong cup of coffee. Anyway, yeah, I've carried that cup for thousands of miles. Usually use esbit to boil up water. And sometimes I just put it right onto a very small um, fire that I can, you know, you can make a really, really small fire and heat up enough water for that cup. Usually too small to put on most stoves. Want some grapes. Grapes aren't really all that weight worthy when it comes to hiker food, but at the same time, sometimes it's nice just to bring something that's pleasurable to eat. Mmm. Mmm. Cold grapes. First thing in the morning. Oh my goodness. Wouldn't be surprised if those froze overnight. Mmm. Close for a couple more. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh. Gonna have to let this sit for a couple minutes. Or... I can't drink coffee that hot. But, we can get her cooled down pretty quick. Oh yeah. That's gonna cool it off. Now while the coffee's cooling off, we can take this apart. I'm gonna go set up the camera on the tripod. All right, so here's a close-up view of how the uh, jet boil pot stand works with the MSR wind burner stove unit. There are these slots in each of the legs of the stand. Maybe you can see it right there. And um, for some odd reason, they fit perfectly on top of the uh, MSR wind burner stove unit. So I've really come to enjoy using that method for uh, the um, percolator and, you know, uh, like a, a one egg wonder pan for um, making pancakes and that kind of thing.